Hi everyone, it's Ron Steele here, and today is April 16th, 2017. It is Easter Sunday, and I am spending time with the family, having dinner, sitting around, watching a little TV, and, you know, my mind starts thinking, and I, I receive some intuition and, and have some conversations with people, and, you know, that intuition just comes down from my guidance and um, <clears throat> tells me some things and makes me realize some things and um, I wanted to say this this is probably a good day to say it um, that I wanted to talk a little bit about separation and uh, becoming one unifying the people of earth um, we are still way too separated. We have been, it's not our fault. Um, it's our fault if we don't do something about it though. Each individual, one of us. <clears throat> We've been separated by, by several ways and means for, um, since birth by some pretty negative entities on this planet. Now there's a lot of positive entities um, and they are taking full force now, um, but it's not enough. They need the people, they need you and they need I and they need us. Um, so let, let's talk about separation. Um, separation, what it does is it, it causes hate. And then you have things like money that causes greed. Um, and there, there's so much more negative there that those two things cause. So we need to, we need to get rid of money. And then we need to get rid of the need for money first. And then money will go away. It's not needed. It's not needed. Just dig in your heart. Think deeply about it. Cut out the ridiculous crap that some of you are probably thinking right now about what how would we run this world without money he's crazy bullshit um we never needed money we don't need it now so anyway we need to do some things to do away with with the need for money and then money will go away and we can find a way um that makes sense for every person every human being um, to, to make this world work without money or anything greedy like money. Quite honestly, it's the things that you do, that people do, um, with money and because of money. Um, so we, we could find another way. Um, then there's, there's, um, the, the separation. Okay. Religion. Um, Religion separates us. Be honest with yourself. Look at all the things going on in the world right now with, um, you know, Christians and Muslims um, in the part of the world like Egypt. It's it's sickening. It's saddening to me. It, I'm I'm so discouraged and disappointed in. Uh, some human beings on this earth um, that can do some of the things they're doing. But if it wasn't for that separation, there wouldn't be so much hate. And those things wouldn't happen. The, the bombings and the killing of, of people who, um, extremist Muslims in Egypt, what they've recently done with, with Christians there, who are actually their own people. The only thing that separates them is because they didn't choose to, to be a Muslim. So it's not just religion, but with several things that separates us. Look at race. Um, men and women, male and female. That's separation. It's all separation. Do you think that our creator, whoever that is, do you think our creator really meant things to be this way? No. No. Our, our creator in heaven 
is made of love and perfection and everything good. And that's where we all come from. It's not till we get down here on on earth that and in this this body with this um brain that doesn't even work at a, anywhere near 100% of a level. Um it's only till then that that we become well, we become manipulated, um messed up human beings. So think to yourself why that is. It's not our fault. It's not your fault. It's, everybody's got their challenges. Everybody's got that piece of them that they they wish, you know, they weren't so messed up. <clears throat> but it's uh, it's only your fault when you realize it and you do nothing about it. So that said, we need to band together and unify as one. Um, and we'll bring down those bad, negative entities and, and ways and, and laws and the things that keep us apart, the things that separate us. Um, you know, religion has its place, you know, for it helps some people, but it still divides us. You can't, there, there's nothing you can say against that it it divides us um it took me a while to come to that you know realization um but quite honestly our religions our democracy our money our leaders most of them or a lot of them too many of them um, it's all messed up. It's, it's not right. It's wrong. It's wrong. And we need to do something about it. So first change yourself, change you, what's inside of you. Do everything from love and good intentions. Always do the right thing. Have the best intentions when you're thinking, when you're thinking, when you're talking and when you're doing, it's not easy to do. I, I, I don't always do it. Uh, I'm not perfect. But you can try to be perfect. Um, and you should. You should try always to do the right thing. Think, talk, think, speak, and react. And act out of the goodness of your heart, always, with the best intentions. And uh, always think from love. Change everything that comes up in your mind from anger and negativity Immediately catch yourself. Just practice that for the next 30 to 60 days. Practice catching yourself and change it. Turn it into to love. So um, turn a negative into a positive. Think from love. Then the better that we all get at that, um, we can, more and more of us will, will unify together um, and become one. We're already one. We've, we've just been so separated that we can't see how together we really are um but but this this has got to stop we can't do this anymore we can't continue to wake up every day go to work and slave for someone else uh if you enjoy it that's different but we can't just continue to 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 be happy with things that we're not happy with you know you wake up you go to a job you don't love you're doing something that you're probably not even that good at or great at. You, there's something else you definitely know you're better at and you wish you could do, but you can't make the money at it or nobody will give you the job. Well, that's got to stop. We're, we're, we're waking up. Too many of us are waking up every day, going out there, working our butts off. And, and a lot of you think that that's, that's good, that people will respect you. Uh, go to school, get a four or six or eight year education, become a doctor. Oh, everybody's impressed. Um, we got to stop that. That's bullshit. That that we we are humans. We all have to stop and think and get more serious about the right things and less serious about all of this all of these things we've been taught all of our life about religion and and college and and the wrong education that we're getting. Um 
Why don't they teach enlightenment for, for God's sakes? Why don't they teach enlightenment in school? Why, why don't most of you out there understand about enlightenment? The world would be a much better place if everybody was enlightened and you did things from love and you saw everybody in the world as your brother and sister. So no more. He's white. She's black. He's Mexican. She's Asian. Iranian. Russian, Chinese, let's stop and all become one. We are not different ethnicities. Um, ethnicities. We are not, you know, different colors, not different sex, male, female. No, we are all humans. The sooner that, that I know a lot of you out there understand this, but I hope there's a lot of people watching this video, um, because I want to reach new people. So I hope there's a lot of people who is out there that, that didn't understand this. And this is making you think that you, you've got to wake up. And this is really who this video is for, uh, reminding those of you who are enlightened. But this video is even more for those people who aren't enlightened yet, who maybe are close or maybe aren't even close, to wake the heck up. And realize that you have been manipulated all your life. I don't care if you think you're happy right now. There's a lot of people suffering in this world because of ignorance, stupidity, and hate. They're being controlled. We're all being controlled. Even if you don't want to be and you, you feel you're not or you're not going to let it happen, it's still happening. They have they the negative entities that have run this world for so long are so damn good at the manipulation everywhere around you with the poisons in our food, the poisons and toxins in our 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 immunizations, our shots that we get. Um God, there's doctors and scientists and that think they're doing a good thing and then somebody comes along and puts something into a good... Maybe our food at the manufacturer was originally something good. Maybe uh, an immunization shot or, or something like that was maybe it originally was good maybe it was made originally just maybe it was made by some person that went to school for six to eight years a, a doctor or a scientist with a caring heart but then somebody comes along and puts something in it that helps control us that he helps keep us on a vibrational level that's very low um, and that it doesn't kill us right away so you don't notice it and that's another problem you guys hear somebody some of you guys out there hear somebody say oh don't go to mcdonald's or burger king that food will kill you or it makes you fat and you you know you suffer you eat diabetes from all the fake candy out there and you look at them and you say you know i've been eating that stuff for years you're full of it well maybe you better think twice from now on because what you're what you're suffering from is the fact that oh if i do something right now and it doesn't kill me then nobody's hurting me that's not true the fact of the matter is that for many years we have been eating foods and using cell phones like i'm talking to you on now and and computers and uh, drink, drinking alcohol, tobacco, smoking tobacco, and many of things that have been manipulated to slowly, it, it slowly kills us. It, it was meant to, to keep us under control, to let us stay on a low vibrational, um, a low vibrational frequency so we could not vibrate so high with the most 
positive and, and use our brain to, to a certain extent to where we could not be controlled and we could take over the world. Well, I, I just don't, obviously, you see that I don't believe that. I don't think the world needs to be that way. I don't care if I was king of the world or president of the world, um, which I've said sometimes I, I wish I was because... I would do the right thing. But anyway, I um, if, if I was, whoever is running the world, I don't understand one bit why you've got to keep the population controlled in a negative way. I think you need... You need to do the best thing for people with the best intentions. And everything, the universe, universal law will work out for the best that way. So, folks, the, the, the moral of my story today is this. My point is, You don't have to get upset about what I'm saying if you don't agree with it. Those of you that don't agree and do agree. Let's just, how hard is it just to forget it all? Now you know it's out there. You know how I feel. A lot of you feel the same. A lot of you are learning for the first time watching this video. But how hard is it? For all of you who don't agree with me and those of you who do agree with me, how hard would it be to be happy, to mend together, to just, even if we don't agree, just get together and do something about all this to live a happier life? Are there actually people out there, some of you out there that don't want to be happy? Is it actually a bad thing what I'm talking about to treat your brothers and sisters like they're just like you because they are? We're all one. How the heck could that be such a bad thing? All I know is every day I wake up, start my day, and I run into some negative news on the television that's showing me a lot of stuff in, in the Middle East of um, people being blown up on several buses and Um, just hate, hate, hate. I think really deeply. I analyze that stuff, and I think really deeply about it. And I can tell you where that comes from. It comes from the lack of control that they have. It comes from their hate. It comes from the greed for money and other things. If those people weren't raised... In certain religions that teach them to hate people. If they weren't raised around other things in movies and on the news and in the media, social media and other places, even some parents, if they weren't raised that way around that stuff, I don't believe that they would ever do anything like so hateful as go out and blow themselves up with other people around to, to, to cause terrorism. So I, I bring that up. <clears throat> I'm, I'm not trying to be negative today. I'm trying to be real. I'm, I'm, I'm just being real. I'm being genuine, being real, saying it like it is, because we all know what I'm saying is what's been happening. Um, and, and folks, I just don't, I don't see how it's so difficult to change this world with almost a snap of, of the fingers. Um, it, it is going to take a while to, you know, people grow up over 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years of being taught hate. So that's going to take some time to get rid of. But I 
don't see enough happening right now or any time in the near future where that hate, that separation, that greed is, is being taught enough to end. Let's start teaching it now in our schools. Um, let's teach, you know, the opposite of that. Let's teach enlightenment now in, in the schools. Let's start telling our kids the truth, for Christ's sake. Let, tell them the truth about life. And this is how you, um, let's, not ha let's not let them be surprised when they grow up uh, about boyfriends, girlfriends, sex, marriage, uh, life. This is how life's going to be. You're, you, you know, and, and let's teach them right now how to do the things I'm talking about. Teach them that they're all one. Teach them love and unity and gratefulness for, for what we have and what they have, the good things that, that we have. Teach them how to take care of themselves and other people. Teach them how to think every day with positive thoughts and let the negative go. Why aren't, why aren't our leaders stepping up right now? How difficult is it? I, I just don't understand. If you give me a TV camera right now and a microphone, and you put me up on a podium like the President of the United States or any one of those politicians that get up there, I'm going to tell you the same stuff. Screw what everybody else thinks about my opinions. And because you know what? I'm talking right now from the best intentions of my heart. And I know I'm right. And I know I have very good facts and intuition. And um, I, I just can't understand why when we have so many leaders out there who you think that they would have gotten into politics because they started somewhere in their heart caring about this world and about humanity and they wanted to get into it to make things better, to make world change. I always say I am amassing wisdom to make positive change in the world. And I say... You know, my, my checks, I don't use them much anymore, but the checks that I write for my bank account, uh, they say, God bless the world. Because I realized someday, it used to say, God bless the U.S. or the United States. And, and you know, I've realized over the past several years that it's, we're all the, we're all the same. It's like, like, why don't separate us with countries and politics, and states, and cities, and different types of population, uh, colors, and race, and, uh, and male and female. Stop the separation. It is killing us. Do you understand that? Stop it now. I hope to God that there are some pretty important people, pretty smart people who feel the way I do that are fortunate to be able to speak in public like I'm speaking now, that you you have a voice because I don't have a voice. I, I don't have many followers on YouTube um, or Facebook. Um, I'm just a regular guy born with a good heart who happens to have some intelligence, wisdom, and intuition from, from my higher guidance way back as far as I can remember as a young boy. And um, I don't know exactly what to do to make this world a better place. I don't know, maybe that's why I'm making this video, because I'm, I'm fed up of feeling like I'm sitting on my ass and I'm not doing enough about it, like probably some of you, right? There's some people out there thinking the same thing, I bet. I'm not, I bet I'm not the only one. What, what I don't understand is why 
aren't there people out there in high places who do have a chance, who do have a lot of followers. They are on the news, on TV, radio, the internet. There, there needs to be more of us out there saying the truth, being genuine. There, there's too many of you folks are being fake. Look what they're teaching us in corporations nowadays at jobs. Look, I'm in the ret restaurant industry. I know it better than anybody or as good as anybody that, you know, that they're teaching us to be fake because they're saying that they're going to get, they're going to get sued if you don't treat employees a certain way, you, you know, you got to make sure that you um, document, document, document everything. Um, I mean, it's all control, manipulation. It's, it's coming to us down through the corporations, too, at our jobs. They're making us fake because we can't even walk around our job and say, Hey, John, or hey, Mary, I... I I really appreciate you or, or touch them on the shoulder or give them a hug and, and tell them you love them. Do you realize what the hell has been done to you? Do you realize it? You're going to work every day, most of you and me, being fake. We're not being who we really want to be. We're not letting the feelings out of us that we really want to let out. This shit has to stop. Do you get it? We have to get off our ass together, unify, and we have to start doing something about it. Now, going out there, like some of the ignorant people, picketing and causing uh, trouble and, and smashing windows and starting fires... That, that's truly ignorance. And I mean that in the respectful way of that word. It's ignorant. That comes from not being fully educated and not being fully, uh, not being fully educated about the facts, the facts that you can find. Um, let's face it, we'll never know the truth about a lot of things. But you, that's why you have intuition. They've taught us not to use our intuition. You don't know it, but think about it. We've been taught not to use it. But that intuition comes from a higher place. And we, we can't go out there and, and start preaching hate or uh, show our anger in a disrespectful way. Um, I'm upset, I'm emotional, I'm, I'm a little bit angry right now, but I'm being respectful. And what that's what we need to do. We need to, we need to go out there, educate ourselves, and, and, and be organized, have a plan, and go out there and do something better than, than we've been doing. We, we need to, you know what, I think we need to, we need to let our leaders know um, that it's okay to say something in public like I'm saying. It's okay. It's okay to be fed up and let it out. I, I think there's probably a lot of leaders out there who are afraid to be genuine like I'm being right now. They're afraid to, to do it because of peer pressure and what other people are going to say. The other people who are sleepwalking right now, who are letting themselves be controlled. Some of them know it, some of them don't. But I think that's one way that we we need to find a way to voice to the leaders our frustrations and concerns and our ideas, and that, hey, we are 
5,000 strong, or we are 5 million strong, or we are 500 million strong, whatever. It's, I know we can grow our community to be huge. But the point is, what, what everybody's missing is, is there's just a few people compared to us. There's just a few people controlling things in this world. You know, the, the good people out there, I want to band together with you. Um, God, there, there's got to be some good people out there like myself, like some of you who really want to do the things I'm talking about and change the world, unify. We're all one. Just love, just do the right thing. I know there's people out there that want to do that. I know there's some higher up people out there that want to do that. But there's the people out there, some negative entities who, you know, we, we've got to find a way to um, shut them down. We've got to change this. And you know what? I said earlier, you know, do you really think our creator would have wanted our world, the earth, to be this way? Do you really think that this was all planned? I mean, do you really? Seriously, do you really think when you think deeply about it and analyze things for all the years that I've been doing it, I know for sure then you, you, you wouldn't really think that. I know better than that, in, at least intuitively and from my guidance, I know for sure. I, I don't need any other facts. I know for sure that <clears throat> Earth was not created to, to put humans down here and basically live in hell. That wasn't the game plan. Matter of fact, a lot of us have been put down here to bring earth back to a loving place. And that's what we need to start doing now. So I'm going to end this video because I could go on forever, but um, I'll make other videos. I'm going to end this video by saying, listen, you guys. Pretend like the President of the United States or somebody, the king of the world, or even your creator. Pretend like they're going to listen to you, um, to your ideas, and think to yourself, what would you do to accomplish the things I'm talking about? What would you do to change the world, to make positive change in the world? What would you do? Think really carefully, carefully about that. Um, and then, you know, post it down below in the comments, wherever you're at, Facebook or YouTube. What is it? If you had the opportunity to be sitting in front of the president right now of your country or the U.S. or um, a, a, a panel of uh, world leaders, and you could say anything you wanted to say, for positive change, okay? Um, this is not a negative video, and I don't want any negative responses, okay? I don't, uh, I, I don't deal with that. I'm, I'm not trying to be negative, and I hope you could see that this is coming from a passionate part, passionate place in my heart. So, again, think about that. What, what would you do? There's a lot of people um, out there who a certain percentage of you are probably going to have a pretty darn good idea. Because world leaders aren't much better or, or probably aren't even as good as some of us out there. Um, you could come up with better ideas than them or who knows. Just So right down there at the bottom of the comments... Facebook, YouTube, wherever this video is, right down there for me, what would you do? Okay? And don't don't give a crap about what anybody else thinks. But just keep it positive, okay? Um, just keep it positive. And uh, 
that that is the way we're going to have to make change in this world is being positive. You you're not going to be able to go out with um guns and threats and and uh, bats and rocks or you know every time I see that on the streets you guys it just that makes me sick. We're not going to accomplish anything that way. You have to change yourself first. Then you have to go out with the best intentions possible from your heart and soul. And make an effort towards the positive change you want. And as long as you're making efforts towards it, the universe, the universal natural laws are going to, they're going to give you some good results. From it, they're gonna give you and us what we need to succeed. So, um, I don't think God or our Creator, whoever that is for you, I think we all have the same Creator. That's how I feel. But so, I think that they're not, for whatever reason, it's not up to them to make this change. It's up to us. That our creator wants to see us do something about this on our own. Um, and that just might be because of the, the laws, the natural laws of the universe. But for whatever reason, it's obvious that we have to do this. So, again, it's it's Easter today, Easter Sunday, April 16th, 2017. And I am Ron Steele. And um, that's what's on my mind today. I I hope that um, this video can make a lot of people think and actually do something good with it. Okay? So, you guys, I hope you had a good Easter, or I hope you're having a good Easter. I have a few hours left of mine, so I'm going to go enjoy that with the family. And um, I love you guys all very much. And please stop the greed, the hate, the anger. Um, be love. Be light. And um, always educate yourself to, to the facts and through your intuition, even more importantly. So um, I'll leave you guys with that. Take care, and I'll talk to you soon.